Hello and welcome to yet another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're just going to um, take something that we've learned and add a little bit of a twist to it. So this is just a, a fire simulation with some smoke and then two different colors within it. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully we can do it fairly easy and fairly quickly. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this cube and add a sphere. I'm just going to leave the sphere and do an object quick effect uh, and do quick smoke. Move it up a little bit, uh, make it a little bit taller. Sweet. And if you've seen the other smoke sim tutorial, you probably uh, have seen us going through a few of these. We didn't go through a lot. Um, essentially, Go watch that video. I'm not going to change any of these for this video. Uh, that's not the whole purpose of this. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and I'm going to change my render engine to cycles and put this into uh, rendered view. Actually before I do that I'm going to come back down here, click on this guy and click fire and smoke. Uh, you can either do fire and smoke or fire. Fire and smoke will give you more smoke and less fire. Fire will give you more fire, less smoke. Um, so yeah, sweet. Now I'm just going to go back onto here and click cache. I hit control S to save and click save it somewhere on your disk. Uh, it's also going to now cache it to a local destination close to that and then just click uh, I'm going to actually make it to 70 frames just to make the time go a little bit faster and hit bake all dynamics. Okay, that was actually pretty quick anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's watch it, see what we've got. we got some pretty cool stuff going on. You can see we've got some smoke and some fire. Uh, that's pretty cool and dandy, but if we render this, it will take a long time. That's obvious, but it won't look the way we think it will. Uh, maybe what I'll do is instead of render that, I'll just go to this. Okay, yeah, that's faster. Uh, it doesn't look at all like fire. In fact, you would think we hit fire and smoke, where is the fire? There, It's all smoke. Well, that's kind of the purpose of the fire and smoke thing is it's mainly smoke, less fire. Uh, you have to actually manually input the fire. So let's go in here and go into a shader. Uh, also, the fire sim is kind of buggy, so yeah, just save often. Just hit Control S uh, whenever you do anything, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and add an attribute for fire. Uh, actually, it's called flame. It's in the back end of Blender. There's a node called flame, and we're just referencing that attribute right here. And let's just plug that into the color, and then do a color ramp. Uh, essentially this is the same, if you've seen the other video, this is the same thing as the other video. But with the fire and smoke, it, it works a little bit better, I think, with uh, multicolored because we can also play with the density of the smoke, for instance. We have a little bit more control over some of those things. Um, but until then, let's just change these colors, make them bright. Uh, maybe I like a red, yeah, I like a red, a light red, and a light blue, or, ooh, that's Christmas, I don't, yeah, let's do that blue. I like Christmas, but there's time and a season. Okay, now we have this, um, sweet, so yeah, that's print, we have our two colors. Uh, you can also come down here to your emission color, emission strength, you can, whoa you can increase that but that will increase the emission of the entire volume itself uh, if you want to you can just click on where to go that and you can get some cool looking emission from there honestly I don't really like it so I'm just gonna go back to zero uh, and just use the color source that is in our scene and add a couple of them move our camera to this view because I like it. Uh, if you don't know what shortcuts I just hit, that one's a kind of a lesser known one. It's Control-Alt-Zero. It'll move your camera to wherever your uh, 
view, view is. So if I want to move it to right here, control zero it, and then boom, it's there. But anyway, I like it right here. Uh, and I'm going to end it with this render. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, sorry if this one was a, a lot similar and was boring compared to the other smoke sim. Uh, I just want to show some of the the fun features you can do with with this. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll see you again on, a, on another video at Blender Know How.